light a fire in my soul. Fan flames and make it grow. Oh! What's up, everyone? Today we're playing some more Roads Online. Finally, I'm getting back to the game. And I've got a new headset, so my voice probably sounds a little bit different to you guys. A little more bassy, but we'll all go ahead and see how this goes. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, that's a little louder than I expected. Let's go ahead and turn down the volume real quick. That turned down to 25%. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I think we did something now. Stop dinging at me! <laughs> Alright, so we got a big old train here, and we need to go ahead and head down the grade. Let's figure out how to go ahead and start this thing up again. We want our headlight on for this one. So we're gonna go ahead and click. And we got a big train today. We got... Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's actually a loaded coal train plus a loaded wood train going down the grade. This will be interesting. Let's see, break off. Which engine still has the, uh, the brake on? You don't. Which means you do. Brake off. Alright. Well, and down the hill we go. Alright. Oh. Did you just see that? Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Well, that's not good. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that just happened. Yeah. That's, uh, that's no good. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can re-rail this. No, do we just hover? Oh, that, there we go. That worked nicely. Put in the draw bar. Let it roll back. Oh, that's a piece of wood I have. <laughs> right click. Nice. Alright, we're good there. Let's go ahead and roll this down. I can't remember. What was the last car we had on the train? It'd probably help us remember. Oh well. Who cares? I think we have like three nine coal cars behind us or something. So, yes, this could get interesting. Oh gosh, I don't think this is stopping very easily. Oh wait, oh we're good, we're good. We're just gonna hit this locomotive right here. That has a brake on it too. All right, nice, we're, we're good. Walk up front, couple that. Release the brake on this, and we're golden. All right, and away we go. I really hope this goes to plan. <laughs> we don't, we don't go crashing and whatnot. Light a fire in my soul, fan flames and make it grow. Oh! Uh, <laughs> Note to self, uh, don't <laughs> jump and try to run alongside the train when there's a bridge there, because uh, that could have gone very badly. I think I'm going to chill out in the second engine, because if we start running away, I think this might be the place I want to be. <laughs> one of the biggest bridges I got on the line is this one. I really hope they didn't do any more updates that's going to totally ruin my train and derail it and throw everything everywhere. All right, we're picking up a little bit more speed. I'm a little bit worried that I might have to get the engine in front to break. It looks like everything is going okay so far. It looks like we have all the rail cars. Okay, maybe I have like 29 coal hopper cars. But we have 10 flat cars in front of it. Oh gosh, this is the uh, fun part here. Yeah, this corner right here gave me some trouble last time, so we're going to be nice and easy. Oh yeah, listen to that that whistle lag. <laughs> Even on a good computer like mine, it's still... Well, I mean, it, the shorter trains are, are, you know, pretty much any, any computer can handle, it seems like. But the longer trains that I run like this, oh man, you start encountering some very interesting things. Like in the last video when I went up the hill through here. John Cena. 
Oh my gosh! Oh no! Yeah, that didn't go as well as planned on that one. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of break off. I think we can get away with a little bit more speed down here. Oh, listen to that. Listen to that chuff. It did up update the sounds. Nice. And the smoke, too. Nice, nice. I like it. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's 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 go ahead and not go too crazy here. We'll keep on, like, 9%. We want to get to our place in one piece. We're going to have some fun, though, when we shorten this train up. And I only take, the, I take those lumber cars up to the iron mine. I'd take the whole train up there, but it wouldn't all fit on the turnaround. We'd have some very interesting things come up. Yeah, I forgot. We need to switch a switch track. My train is coming up the grade. And, Hello there. Uh, Yes, it was this one. I beat it. <laughs> I beat the train to the switch track. All right. Well, fun's over. We need to take these brakes off and start applying some throttle. There's a reason why I put three engines on this. It wasn't just for looks. It was to make it up the steep grades. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. There's a thumbnail. Wait, come back. Starting down the grade again. We can go ahead and let off the throttle. And start applying some brake now. break on that one. Oh, come on. Get up there. Get up there. Oh, it's beating me. It's beating me in the race. I wonder. Eh, okay. I don't think there's any updated sound for that. Alright. Looks like we're doing pretty good here. Start letting off the brake a little bit. Because I don't want to give it too much power right off the bat. Because things start can start breaking back there with the coupler forces. The thing is, is the more rail cars you have on a train, uh, so each rail car, you know, you got like a drawbar, you know, a little bit of play in between couplers where, you know, you can uh, compress it or expand that little uh, <coughs> uh, link before things start uh, uh, pulling and pushing and stuff like that. Well, you take that little space where there's a little bit of play and you multiply it by, oh, I don't know how many rail cars we have, like 39 or so on this train. Uh, yeah, bad things start happening <laughs> when you start increasing that gap where nothing's happening. It gives your train a little bit more time to start speeding up before that last rail car starts moving like the rest. So what you have is a situation where you're train your rail car, let's say you start from a stop, your rail car goes from zero, your front of a train has picked up 10 miles an hour, but before that little uh, play between rail cars runs out. So essentially your, re your rear rail car, let's say it goes from like zero, your engines increase up to 10 miles an hour, you go from zero to 10 and like, you know, no time at all. And that's when bad things start happening. Alright. I think it's time to start slowing down a bit. Oh. I forgot. To go switch that. That could have been very bad. You can't keep getting away with it! Now I gotta run and get this train stopped. <laughs> I 
I switched it the right way, yeah? Yeah, okay. We did. <laughs> so fast we can get this thing stopped with one engine. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kind of reverse this. I'm going to get a steam engine out first. You'll see what I want to do. Oh, look at that chuff. Listen to that. That's pretty good. See that? <laughs> our rail car started pushing towards our locomotive. Apparently, there's still some stuff wanting to move back there, so we're gonna have to go ahead and apply some more handbrakes. I don't know. Will three will three be enough? I have no clue. That looks pretty good. I'd love to be able to spin your, you know, the drive the wheels in this. It'd be kind of nifty. Just do it for fun. <laughs> All right. Probably leave that one up. Do that. Get our lumber cars out. Let's see if we can go ahead and kick some cars here. I'm kicking ten cars at once, though. It's. <laughs> I mean. This a lot, <laughs> but will that ever will it prevent me from doing it? No. <laughs> Apply one handbrake just so so slightly. All right, pull the pin, and away we go. I hope this works and it doesn't derail a bunch of stuff, but, uh, you know, only one way to find out. Alright, and break. Bye, guys. Have fun. Alright. Good to go. It's like the uh, flat cars didn't move at all, which is good. <laughs> now we'll go ahead and get in the locomotive. All right, and away to the iron mine we go. more fuel in it. Alright, there's our iron mine track right there. Start slowing down for the switch track. You could take all the help we can get of getting this thing stopped. Including driving backwards. Switch that, and away we go. All right, here's the start of the grade. It's gonna be a nice, fun grade. 
take a lot of power. You notice the little ramps that I put alongside the uh, little wall here that I have the track up on. That way, the stuff derails, so I can now oh, fairly easily get back up to the top there without having to go dive off a cliff and do a whole adventure of my own. I do try to use a lot of the normal terrain uh, when possible, just for realism. Oh, and yeah, the uh, the little stone walls there, I use that um, because when I built this, I built it before uh, the track was permanently fixed to the stone wall feature. So you had to put out the stone wall separately from the track, as, long, as well as the uh, gravel. And then you lay the track on top of it. Well, the newer updates, you basically lay the track and the gravel or the stone wall comes with it. And there's no way of separating it. So that's why I was able to get the stone wall separately. It's because I built it before the update. Um, maybe they'll change that around again where you can build the stone walls separately. But as for right now, uh, that's just kind of how things are. Alright. We've made it up to the top of the grade, actually, and uh, let's go ahead and bail off a little bit. That corner was kind of sharp up there, but seems like uh, we made around it okay. All right, here comes the last two bridges before the mine. Looks like this track's really been overgrown by grass and whatnot. It doesn't look so bad from the top, but at least from the bottom, my goodness. Now the thing about this curve up here, it is so sharp that rail cars don't like to be oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> they don't like to be coupled to the engine, and if I even couple bad things will happen. Come on. Please no! No! Did I get it? No! <laughs> get back here. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! I did it. Now we will use the locomotive's braking forces to... I'm, I'm surprised things stayed on. I don't see how they didn't just derail. <laughs> now let's, let's go ahead and get this thing stopped at the appropriate stations and we'll kind of leave them rolling once we uh, get going again. Let's see, what button is it to unload? Is it enter? Is it E? Ah, it is E. Alright, let's go ahead and give this a nice slow crawl out of here. Aw, oh, this is gonna be easy. Oh yeah, look at that. Apply some brakes here, get it slowed down a little bit more. We don't want it going too fast. Alright, that'll do it. Unload. It looks like... Can you unload? It's like you can't unload. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe you can. Unload the rail cars before the station. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and release those brakes. We'll get this thing going again. And unload. Yeah, I do it. Alright. Time to get back to our locomotive and uh, head the rest of the way down. Alright, so that's going to be it for the day. And next up, we're going to go ahead and run on down to the uh, smelter and get ourselves a load of iron to go take back uh, to spawn. We'll kind of sort things out from there. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification button afterwards so you get notifications for videos like this. And we will see you guys in the next video. We'll see you guys later.